Welcome back to the Potted Together Podcast. My name is Adam, and as always, I'm joined by my two amazing, wonderful, beautiful co-hosts, Becca and Nicole. Hey! Hey. It's season eight! We're back! Oh my god! Season eight! We've been doing this for four years, which is crazy. Did you miss us? (laughs) <laughs> oh, they did. They've been yeah. they've been asking where we I are know. when we're coming back. Thank you, making yeah. a boy feel loved. So much has <laughs> happened since we've been on break. Taylor yeah. Swift created a new album. Oh God! <laughs> As of yesterday, <laughs> the whole time I was like, I can't wait to talk about this to make Becca's eyes roll. But also, <laughs> Becca has become a Swifty since the break. Yeah, oh, she has. Okay, I have not become a Swifty. <laughs> I have been adjacent, more open about Swifty my adjacent. I, yes. I've been a Swifty adjacent. There's plenty of things she does where I'm like, what the oh. no. <laughs> Whereas you guys probably overlook those things. I'm like, Ugh. gives me pause. <laughs> okay, no, but hey, hey, I, she's great. Uh, she's great. Hey, I have pause too. Love her. Um, yeah. Other things, other notable things. Taylor Swift has only been playing football since September, and she's already in the Super Bowl. And Incredible. we're re- we're recording this the week before the Super Bowl, <laughs> so we don't we don't know if Taylor Swift won the Super Bowl yet, but we're hoping mm-hmm. that she does. Yeah. yeah, high hopes for our girl. She, yeah, but can either of you guess the most important thing that has happened during the break? Uh oh shit! I don't know. We've been gone since November. <laughs> New the Year's, most important, like the most important thing, like socially, with, like with us, with um, us, the podcast. Somebody got better internet. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I got me some Starlink. <laughs> it's a celebration. Oh. I finally got fast-ish internet. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you really did. So hopefully and, the internet woes are over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that for you. Love mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I've, I we see we've been going full bore on Patreon, so we're still recording every week. Mm-hmm. Like we're talking about hot topics over there. Yeah. But then I was like, I don't think the regular pod knows I don't that think you so. have internet. No, I don't think so because this happened like after Christmas, around yeah. New Year's. So yeah, they definitely don't know. Uh, we were we've been waiting for that fiber optic, and then <laughs> Elon Musk came. Th- I hate even like giving him praise for this. He came through with the Starlink. His team, or I don't, I don't know. He reached out to me, yeah. and he <laughs> was like, <laughs> "You're like, can we, Elon? What can we do for Becca? Can we do a collab? No, that did not happen. Um, <laughs> it finally reached my area, which is great. So, yeah. and it's it's really it's fast. My video is uploaded in like. 30 minutes yeah in fact so. the other day we were recording a patreon episode and becca turned to me and said nicole i think something's wrong with your internet <laughs> oh, and, the best. and it, it was felt so good it was probably the best feeling you've had in a long time so yeah 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 we were all Pretty happy much. for um, you in that moment thank you thank you <laughs> uh what a, like what's a big thing that happened for you guys over the break that's mine that is what yours about you Oh. Um, I've learned embroidery. <gasps> That's and right. I have to keep saying this or else I'm not doing it, but I am going to take a sewing class. Okay. <gasps> Yay. Also, Becca, since I'm going to be seeing you in a couple weeks. Should we sew something? I mm. was going to say, should we like pick a bag and make one? Yes. Ooh. We and should. And we can all just like make a bag? Oh, that'd be that fun. Would be, that would be so fun. We can all pick out our fabric. We. This is my dream. This is my Content wet dream. You're, <laughs> you are describing Sploosh. my wet dream. Every time my friend visits me, I'm like, so anything you want to sew? <laughs> anything you've been just wanting to learn how to make? And they're always uh, like, uh, no, not really. I'm like, I, I've coerced a few people into sewing things, but I don't even have to convince you guys. You're in. No, I'm I'll do in. it. I'll do it. Should we make like that, um, that bestie bag that you like the slingy side bag? Yeah, but the one that you want to do. Yes, Th- that's the bestie bag. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh. We should mm-hmm. do it. I'm so excited about okay, that. Okay, make your Pinterest boards for your inspo. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of scrap fabric if you don't want to put together anything. Okay. 
But yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. I've just been taking it easy, you know? I just we took a break. I took a break. I'm just enjoying life, enjoying hanging out. Mm-hmm. Learning mm-hmm. embroidery. Yeah. Learning embroidery. That's exciting. Like machine embroidery. So I'm not like doing hand embroidery. It's not like the cool one. Oh it's... shoot. People do hand embroidery? Oh yeah. Well, like oh, you know the, those yeah, it's really cute. Those like, like this is plant hand embroidery. embroidery. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Becca is showing one of her beautiful felt hearts. Her yes. little Valentine's heart. For the Valentine's video, I don't know it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen. Look at this really cute little bow earring that I made. Oh, my God. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. That is very cute. It needs some help still, but because look at the center. It looks okay. Sorry, they can't see it. So this is really not fun for them. But <laughs> anyway, uh, Becca will have to post it in stories. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Nicole, what are you up to? Okay, I was thinking about this when Adam was talking, but like... Getting pulled over by the cops. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Listen. Getting pulled okay. over. Rolling stops galore. That's a Patreon <laughs> episode. It's not for the people. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I got pulled over. The cop was a douche. I got a <laughs> ticket. I paid it. Probably going to raise my insurance. Yada, yada. Nobody, nobody was harmed in my lack of knowledge of driving he he gave me a lecture on what it meant to stop at a stop sign and i wanted to mm. punch him in the face but um mm-hmm. i yes. haven't been up to a damn thing all winter like what have i done you have watched okay. the entire is, discography there, of outlander there is a very big <laughs> okay update for the people for me <laughs> Oh, for Out- Outlander. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I started. I mean, we've already heard it, but yeah, keep going. Yeah. I started Outlander a whole three weeks ago, and I'm already in the middle of season six. I can't be stopped. About to finish. Guys, yeah. I'm about to finish. I don't know when the second part of season seven is going to come, but I can already tell I'm going to be having withdrawals, and I'm going to have to start it over again. Welcome to my world. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, yeah, I went, I visited my friend Bree up in Wisconsin and she was like, let me just put on the first episode for you. And I was like, see, this is what Becca had to do to get me to watch mm. it because it's all it took and now I'm hooked. Mm. So to all the Outlander fans out there, I understand. I see you and I hear you. Mm-hmm. But other than that, if I'm being completely honest, I've photographed two weddings since break (laughs) i have been doing nothing i've been building lego sets there's the Mm -hmm. lego there's the lego fascination i did for a couple weeks there yeah um got a few gifts for christmas that were lego related and uh yeah that's about it i'm bored very very bored this reminds me i wanted to look at the lego roses set and see Mm. how much it costs it's only 60 bucks is that normal for these for the dozen well, I think because it's just like it doesn't have a vase or anything probably yeah it's back ordered oh, oh that makes sense but i mean but you live in columbia so just go to target you yeah. might have it there they, actually it's yeah. a college town i'm not saying your town's bad because i like your town i just want to <laughs> put that it's out a there. cool town but like we don't have a lot of stores yeah or like yeah. we've got one of everything not everything but one of the big the big things check walmart and target that's what i would do Mm. Um, oh, I they, see other other flower bouquets. Yeah, so I Mia's got the flower bouquets. I have like the succulent sets, the the mini ones, and then the the regular like little succulent set, which is so cute. I recently mm-hmm. got a couple of the flower stems. You have it too. You have the mini succulent yeah, set. I do. You did it on a live. I did. I need to do another live. That was yeah. fun. Yeah, we should go live when we see each other in a, in a couple weeks. We're recording this. We should, because Becca has good internet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's favorite joke. No, I'm we excited should. about out, it. I figured out how to go live with my nice camera, because that's that's yeah, my identity. We know. And it's having a nice camera. <laughs> no, it's just like, yeah, so, but <laughs> never mind. No, no, it's, I'm sorry. Was no. that mean on my part? No, it wasn't at all. But I was, then I started get feeling like, oh god, did I sound like I was like bragging about a camera? Not I didn't at all. Look, no, no. Okay. You like you like when things look nice. There's nothing wrong with that. I bet that's why people watch your videos largely because they just look so beautiful. Yep. Aww. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, I just scratched my mic. Something you said you were going to help me out with was setting up like a studio. Lighting. Yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, ma'am. yeah, that'll be fun. Mm. We're, re- we're recording this episode the first week of February. So we're we're having a meetup soon, but it'll already be over by the time you're hearing this. But that's one thing I'm excited about. That's like a big thing coming up. And I've been excited about it since we planned it, what, like a mm-hmm. month ago? Just mm-hmm. pics on Instagram for sure. And you would know, last time we got together, we didn't do a plant Pictionary. Oh. Should we bring it back? Oh. <laughs> like, is it getting old? I feel like it's funny every time. It is funny every time. I have time. fun with it every single time. Yeah. And like each year brings new like plant culture references. So oh, yeah. I feel like it would be kind of fun. Steve? Yeah. I agree. Steve? Are you listening? Well, if he's listening, the meetup already happened. So either we did it or we didn't. But <laughs> oh, that's true. That is true. Well, either way, we've got a we've got a full schedule of things to do. I was actually just thinking to myself today, what are we going to do the whole time? And then I've just I don't have that anxiety anymore. We'll we'll find things to do. Well, yeah. it's funny that you ask that <laughs> because I was planning something early. I was very, 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 very bored. Okay, in my defense, I had nothing to do. And I put together a little tiny itinerary and I was oh, like, I was would. like, once Becca's not as busy and she's not dealing with a sicky poo kiddo, I'll send mm-hmm. it to you and you tell me what you think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's fun. I was thinking like we should record one episode a day. Imagine if we did record one episode a day. That's like seven episodes, seven weeks of episodes. Wow. You're feeling very ambitious. Maybe not seven, but you know, six. Five. She is. I mean, I'm all about the the the. the uh, I'm up for the challenge. Let's say that. Yeah. I feel like what if we did that, and then we did the catch up. We did not do a catch up. We just edited. We just recorded the subject, and then we did a catch up later. Like a catch up mm-hmm. every week. That would be pretty smart on our part. Actually, 100%. because mm-hmm. I remember when we recorded in San Diego, we we're like, well, we're still on the trip. <laughs> Yeah, no yeah. ketchup for us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> anyway, just a little yeah, thoughts. Yeah, cool. Yeah, awesome. I forgot to even tell the audience. I mean, the girls who know know, but I forgot to tell what we're talking about today. Today, we're just going to talk about a general plant update, like how we've been doing, how our collection is, how we've been feeling, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but we kind of just jumped right into it. Yeah, we did. Don't we always? Yeah, we always. we're just going to jump right into it. At Highland, we're all about celebrating little wins and little ways to innovate digital processes. There's no customer pain point too small for us to help with. Maybe that's why more than half of the Fortune 100 looks to Highland to connect their content and data, improve processes, and turn little efficiencies into big wins for their customers and clients. Highland, intelligent content solutions for innovators everywhere at highland.com. No, I'll be honest. Uh, plants have really taken a back seat in my life, but mm-hmm. not too bad to the point of like they're dying. It's just I think I needed a break. And so wintertime came around here, mm-hmm. which means I could just like not water as often. And yeah. that's what I've been doing. But have chores been done? Absolutely not. There's so many pot plants that need to be repotted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And moved from my prop box into Gen Pop. And I just have not done any of it. Mm-hmm. Gen and I don't know what I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you found some flat mites. Yeah. Again. Well, some evidence of them. Yeah. So it, that's part of the slacking, I think. Mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. just like not doing regular spray downs and that kind of stuff. So we're going to be back to that soon. Yeah. Ugh, flat mites. Flat mites. The thing is, I realized, I mean, I'm so grateful that I had caught them again soon because there is like there was barely evidence. Like in full plants, I just saw one little tiny orange egg. Mm. Where before, when the flat mites were first noticed, like you would literally just see like, 25 30 crawling in in like a one little node area yeah so gross nasty we're gonna get on top of that okay 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 
Did I have the thrip situation during? No, it was during last season. Yeah. Yeah. You talked about that last season. How is it going, though? Or Adam, are you finished? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we were just going to bounce around. Yeah, we could do that. I think so, yeah. Okay. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, if that was not the original like the plan. Um, yeah, I haven't found any, although there is a plant that I am suspicious because two leaves have randomly and quickly dried up. Mm. Although I have also been neglecting my plants because my personal life is taking over a little bit with the yeah. baby, you know. She's been sick this week, so literally every obligation I have outside of holding her is not getting done. My house is a wreck. How old? Is, how old is Nora now? She's going to be eight months in like two days. Oh my God, that's so wild. Or four days. I know, it's crazy. Eight months. Wow. (laughs) Eight months of Nora. She's the best. She's so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. She's sitting up. She's trying to crawl. She's just, I don't know. She's a superstar. So smiley, so happy. So it's like weird to see her so sick. She has RSV, unfortunately. Started yeah. daycare and, you know, it happens. So yeah, she's pulling through, but it's been hard to watch her like that. So basically everything in my house is crumbling, including my plants. I don't know what they're doing. Honestly, I haven't even <laughs> thought about them, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honest, but I get it, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, that just happens. It does. And I feel like we got to normalize that. I think we're all kind of, well, Nicole's in a stage where she's like, all motivated now and on her stories posting pictures and i'm here for it (laughs) but i feel like two of us are not are like i don't know we're on this schedule we're like two of us not super into plants one of us is yeah and i feel like last season i was really into plants and you guys were not Mm -hmm. (laughs) so now it's flipped we're me and adam we're like what's a plant and nicole's loving it (laughs) yeah yeah adam you'll get there you'll get there soon um i think that it's I think that it's just me not having anything else to do. Well, I will say me visiting Brie. If anybody follows plant girl underscore 50 on, um, on Amazon, on Instagram, <laughs> her plant collection's stunning. And like, I've never seen it in person, but it looks exactly the same in person as it does in pictures. And it's just like quite mind blowing. So like that, seeing her plants that happy gave me a little bit of inspiration to be like, let's move some plant lights around. Let's switch around the basement a little bit to make it so that like my plants fit in my space a little bit better than just having them all on my white plant shelves in one section. Mm -hmm. I feel like I pay attention to them more now, you know? Mm. It's almost like having a house and just having all your plants in one room. Like that's not even your situation, Becca. Even though you have a sun porch, you still have plants in your kitchen. You have plants in your guest bedroom. Like they're all over the place. But living Mm -hmm. in a house with my parents, like they're just, you know, we know they're not that into plants. So like I can't just put my plants all over the house. And I feel like that's where my struggle was happening. I was like, well, what do I do with my plants? Like what's going to get me into them again, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Rearranging. Mm-hmm. Tried mm-hmm. and true. It does yeah. it. I feel like we've mentioned that many times in like our falling in love with plants again kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Episodes. Reorganize. Move some stuff around. I feel like that does really help to just see things in a new perspective and like, I don't know, it makes the plants look different too in different in a different room, you know, like, yep, it makes it look bigger or smaller or just different based on where you put it. It's fairly nice yeah i used to re i used to rearrange like my rooms all the time me too did you guys ever do that when you were kids yes 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 late at night Mm -hmm. always late at night i mean i would get a wild hair at like 11 p.m and here i am like 90 pounds strong arming my (laughs) huge dresser yep we just we don't rearrange i guess maybe people do i don't ever rearrange anymore but i kind of love dead because yeah. it always gave me like a fresh feeling. But I think maybe like the emergence of giant TVs kind of stopped people from arra- rearranging. Because yeah. the TV kind of just like stays in the same place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it doesn't fit on any other walls. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of a sad thing, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I used to love rearranging my just even my living room. Yep. Yeah. So it just felt kind of fresh. Yeah. What if we just didn't have TVs? Mm. I mean, the possibilities. Listen. 
Well, Again, Nicole's gotta finish Outlander. Yeah, I'm Nicole's watching. Like, absolutely not. <laughs> well, I, I was gonna say I'm watching Outlander, and the 1800s, there were no TVs, there was no electricity. Yeah. Okay, there's <laughs> candles all over the place. I'm like, could I live there during that time? Probably not. But there's something about the simplicity. <laughs> yeah, <'cause> you, have, <laughs> you can't pee outside. No, I cannot <laughs> pee outside. Pee outside in Becca's woods. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, but I've been thinking about that and I'm like the simplicity that was the 1800s, but also there were wars. So was it simple? No, it wasn't. <laughs> but like with like just I don't know. I think about no internet, no TV and how mm-hmm. freeing that would be and it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of intriguing, but listen, I appreciate yeah. I appreciate the, the overconsumption of information. I know. Like, that's, like I we know. weren't yeah. meant to be like this. I we know. were meant to know everything happening on every corner of the earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty overwhelming sometimes. But there, I always wonder how Claire does it. Like she goes from having all of that technology to just nothing. Like there's moments where she gets frustrated, but she handles it so much better than I, I ever would. So, yeah. Yeah, I think about that and I'm like, ooh, how would it be for someone in 2024 to go back that far? Because just the drastic change that was made from the time that the show started, which was the 1940s, right? 60s. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was 40s to now is so significant, like mm-hmm. way more than going from the 1800s even to the 19 19- hundreds or the 20th century you know it's just like so much more drastic so i wonder i wonder what that would be like i've had this idea for a podcast episode for so long where i don't know if we have a ton of older listeners but where we like interview or have them write in what it was like to collect houseplants in like the 70s or the 80s you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like Mm Because there have been... That would be a wonderful idea. Yeah, Yeah. there's been so many, like, different booms of houseplant popularity, the 70s being, like, a huge one. But also, like, Victorian era, that was a huge houseplant boom. Obviously, we can't (laughs) have somebody interview from that. (laughs) Bummer. (laughs) Maybe if they're a traveler. (laughs) If they're a traveler, maybe. I mean, that might be kind of boring. There's a section of my book where I researched that and it was like really fun to look into, but I'm like I feel like this might be boring for other people. Mm. But it's interesting to know like what people used houseplants for back then and like why they had them. And mm-hmm. it, and it's honestly really similar to us. Oh, so remember when we did the plants that kill series last season and w- was it me who did the hemlock, the water hemlock? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it came up in Outlander. Didn't you mention that last season? You're like, there's an episode where they use hemlock. And I was like, oh, yep. shit, it's happening. It's happening. Yep. Wild. Yeah, that's well, funny. How did they use it? I remember it being in like a jar. Yeah, it was the root of the plant. And mm-hmm. I think she submerged it in water, boiled it probably. And spoiler alert, um, one of the people living in the house killed this guy that I won't say what happened, but he was a very bad man. And she like injected into his neck and he was dead in like seconds. Oh, that that instance of the hemlock. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. 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 yeah and that was through like a syringe injection. I wonder if that would actually work. I guess I it know. would. Cause I you- would imagine it's like. That's Instant. crazy to think about. Yeah. Well, that would be a fun series to do, though. Like, not for Halloween, but like this season. Maybe we could talk about decades. Yeah, that would be so much fun if you're listening and you may be, you know, maybe you grew up in the 70s. Maybe your parents had plants in the 70s and you, you know, saw how they were caring for them or what kind of plants they had. Drop us a little message. Let us know. Yeah. yeah, or I mean, if you just get a get a message from your parents if they don't listen, that'd yeah, be great. That'd be yeah, fun. talk to your parents or your grandparents or whoever about what that was like. Yeah, the older I'm we can get, the better. That would be so yeah, fun. Yeah, because I can ask my grandma, like, what, what were plant shops like? What was, yeah. Yeah, because there was no online shopping, which right. this is me just being like, oh, go. But yeah, there, <laughs> mm-hmm. there was no online, online shopping. Yeah. And like, were they just walk? Did Lowe's and Home Depot exist? I don't, uh, I don't know. 
Oh, I think so. But I would imagine there was more like garden centers is where they got them. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mom and pop places. Okay, yeah. But also they didn't have online shopping, but they had the catalogs. Remember catalogs? True. Where you yes. fill out the order oh my form? Gosh. <laughs> yeah. That was my childhood. Oh, the men's underwear section of JC Penny catalog. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. That's tell funny. me tell me you're a little gay boy without telling me you're a little gay boy. <laughs> uh, I remember my mom used to bring them home and she'd like have me circle what I wanted for Christmas. The like, Sears so yeah. Christmas catalog was yes. superior. Uh, oh gosh. But yeah, it's those inter- were the days. Those were the days. Simple. Simple. Um, yeah, simple life. But maybe there were like gardening catalogs where you can put an order in for some pothos. You know, who the fuck knows? That'd be crazy. Yeah, that would be really Listen, interesting to hear from people. Logies still sends out a catalog of they plants. Do. They Ooh. do. I still get that one. Wow. Yeah. I wonder. Like that'd be kind of a funny, <laughs> funny video <laughs> idea to like order from a catalog. Like send a little check with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's how we used to have to buy like basketball shoes from like ebay and it would be like you didn't know what happened to any of your money or oh anything for like six weeks mm-hmm. and then you're like oh here's a box at the door like, oh. oh that must have been my shoes from two months ago yeah yep. your shoe your shoe size changed from the time you ordered to the time it <laughs> arrived <laughs> it's like ordering from timu gosh. Oh my gosh that's funny yeah so I don't know. That's kind of what's been going on in my plant world. Just trying to keep my head above water with them. But I went to do a repotting video the other day, and I really didn't have that much to repot. And I I guess it's winter. So, yeah. I I saw that video, and that tie is freaking huge. I know. I know. I've almost got an atom sized tie. Yeah, that is big. And I'm trying to get rid of mine. Still, huh? Have you been trying to sell it or has that kind of just been put on the back burner? You know, I did post it again around like Christmas time because someone asked about like ties for sale and I was like posted mine and said $500 because like I've been lowering it and lowering it. Like the whole get up, the basket, every, the, I mean, it's, that is a it's steal. got a, a board. All in. And like three different people were like commented like this is an amazing price, but no one took the bait. So then I'm like, mm. well, maybe I'm gonna do a a double deal with my elbow and a tie constellation and say like both of them for like seven fifty. Mm. I don't know. I don't think people are gonna buy them anyway. It's just mm. such a big plant. I just it's very specialized buyer. I feel like yeah. yeah. You might have to donate it to the library. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or I would be fine with doing that. <laughs> Yeah. Like, what about selling it to a plant shop for I know. for them to resell? I know. I, I should maybe reach out. Because Plant Shop Chicago has this gigantic tie, like, hovering over their cactus bench. It's it's probably the size of yours. But it's, like, I want to say seven to $800 just for that. Speaking of store plant, I've seen an uptick of thievery. Maybe it's just the... Have accounts you? that I follow, but yeah, I've seen a few plant, uh, the LA sh- plant shop, plants Mickey's. by Mickey's. Yeah, Mi- Mickey's. Mickey they Hargitay, posted yeah. about somebody stealing, and apparently they brought the plant back. But like, how embarrassing would that be to have your photo plastered all over Instagram? And it's like, does anybody, can anybody identify this person because they were oh stealing? Oh my God. <gasps> I, imagine oh. if it was like one of us. I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what if you would have saw like Nicole there with like scissors <laughs> snipping at somebody's plant? Honestly, like I feel like we'd have to just face. like <laughs> cancel the I podcast. I would have a shitty grin on my face. Or we need to go hire a PR firm, okay? <laughs> I'd be like, sorry, she's out. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. She's gone. Because um, that really did get blasted everywhere because then the LA people post it. And I have not seen everybody this. Everybody posted that. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I yeah, and she returned the plant, so that's really nice. But that that's that was really one nice. case I saw, and, <laughs> and then I saw another one. But can you imagine how embarrassing that would be to like one yeah. get caught, number two your photos on Instagram, number three you bring it back. Like yeah. I would be so Oof. humiliated. Oh my gosh. Okay, real talk. Did you guys ever steal something when you were younger, and then your parents like made you go back to the store and tell them? 
Ooh, are we telling no. theft stories? Because uh, I but have I did, one. I have shoplifted before. I'll admit so that. I, I, I have too. But yeah, that is tucking your tail and being like no. holding up a piece of like bubble, like big league chew, and you're like, <laughs> I stole this. <laughs> And then the, I, I did, I remember like the, the person at the store being like, it's okay. And my mom's like, it is not okay. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh, I okay. don't know. Good job, Mom mama. Teaching yeah. lessons. Very young. Aww. No, I was older. I was like 11 or 12. No. Well, yeah. 11 or 12. I was <laughs> visiting a friend in Crystal Lake and uh, which is a town not far from here now, but like I lived in the city at the time. So also I was like, where Jason yeah camp crystal lake Ooh. yeah um and we went to kohl's <laughs> and well her mom dropped us off at kohl's and Uh-oh. we stole we put on winnie the pooh bra and underwear under our clothes <laughs> walked out of the dressing room and thought we were gonna leave with these clothes uh, okay. did you get caught what? Oh yeah, we got caught. And they and they took I don't I can't remember if they just left us in the room. Cuz you know like all stores have the what do they call them? The surveillance people, you know, they have those like theft rooms that'll yeah, take loss you loss prevention. Loss prevention, there we go. Mm-hmm. So I think we stayed there. A cop came. We were freaking out and like my mom had to come pick me up and she was pissed. Oh, and then no. she and we had to go to court and <gasps> it was like fifteen hundred dollars. Oh. oh yeah, it was bad. I was like, wow, we are like court? young. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Cold. She paid, wow. she paid like fifteen hundred dollars to get it expunged from my record. Oh maybe my I was gosh. maybe I was thirteen, because I feel like eleven or twelve would have been young to be just dropped off at the mall. But you know, that was the Not time. In our day. Not in our day. Yeah. No. No. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's I, bad. I got dropped off at the mall when I was in middle school, and that's when I had my theft moment, but I didn't get caught. Oh, good job. Oh. <laughs> I, but I did a similar thing. It was a, you guys remember Rue 21? Yeah, it was yes, still around. My first okay. leather jacket came from Rue 21. It was oh, so fashionable. Oh, <laughs> so fashionable. Um, yeah, my friend and I, our moms wouldn't let us wear thong underwear, and we were so embarrassed to have underwear lines all the time. Mm-hmm. We are sick of shoving our underwear up our butt cracks. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> you're protesting. The final straw. We went into Rue 21. We grabbed a bunch of underwear from like the five dollar bin or whatever, and we put it on under our clothes and walked out. And they never said anything. We never got Dang. caught. Dang. See, that was my goal. Didn't happen that See, way. For yeah, me. and it's With funny Winnie that we, the Pooh? we did the same thing. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh Winnie bra the Pooh. underwear. Yeah, the matching sets. <laughs> uh, Winnie the yeah. Pooh bra. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Weird. I had to have been young because it was Winnie the Pooh. What were they like honey pots? <laughs> the cups? <laughs> no, it was. It's probably kids. a training bra. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Even those, I had these knockers for a long time. <laughs> oh. So. Oh. Yeah, I was wearing a training um, bra a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore, oh, for the record. <laughs> oh, gosh. I I feel like I told this. Either we talked about it on a different episode somewhere or we just talked about it in person, but I got caught stealing. And as soon as... Well, like, towards the end of my stealing career, for the longest time, I was, like, stealing cigarettes from... My mom had a second job at, like, a gas station. <laughs> Honestly, this is going to make me sound like a terrible person, so... <laughs> No. Apologies. Hey, honesty hour. Growth. Yeah. <laughs> but Growth. I, my mom's a single mom working two jobs, night at the gas station. I'd go and visit her or I'd rollerblade up there because my headphones that had a radio built in got off of the radio station and I couldn't get it back. So I needed my mom <laughs> to, to oh. then twist the radio station back so I could listen to my country. Okay. Your country. And uh, <laughs> Reba. I was missing my Reba. <laughs> Single mom who works two jobs, who loves kids um, and never stops. And anyway, so I would steal like cartons of cigarettes from in the back there because my mom was like, he would never do anything. And I was like, I'm stealing. I'm doing it. Uh, I'm doing it. Wow. And then I, I had a real penchant for taking bubble gum. Mm. I had an entire dresser drawer full of bubble gum. Wow. But I finally got caught at the pump and pantry, which was the gas station in my hometown. <gasps> 
the lady, as I was walking out the door, grabbed my arm so forcefully, like out of nowhere. I just didn't even see her coming. And she goes, empty out your pockets. And I immediately pissed my pants. (gasps) Oh, like full on. And listen, I have never done that by being scared, but that's what happened. I was so, <laughs> she scared me so much, I pissed my pants. The clarification of never done that by being scared. So it's happened the other time. Okay. We're not all perfect, okay? You hey. piss your pants now when you sneeze, okay? Hey, 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 I'm working on it. Pelvic floor. She's <laughs> recovering. Anyway. <laughs> and then what I had to do was the cops came to my house to talk to us because it's small town vibes, you know. And then I had mm. to sweep the parking lot every week for like a month. Oh my god! And so you oh like, my and it's on the main drag. So when people are sweeping the parking lot of the gas station, you know. they know what happened. <laughs> did that um, deter you from ever doing it again? Yeah, I stopped cold turkey. Yep. Well, there you go. Good. Good. There you go. Hey, you it go. takes that one traumatic experience. Hey, it's embarrassing to get caught. It's very embarrassing. Very. So yeah. You just you don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> In a Winnie Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the <matching>. Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Brazier. And my nickname growing up was Cole. So Cole's, rightfully so, was my favorite store when I was a kid. And they banned me from going to Kohl's. Like my name was on a do not enter Kohl's <laughs> list. It may still be on it. It was expunged from my record. So like, I'm like, can they like ban me from going? I mean, I'm sure they could, but like, where are those photos? Oh, I also, this just randomly made me think of this. But you know the liquor store Binnie's? Uh-huh. My mom uh-huh. had one by our house and I cannot remember what happened, but I got into a fight in Binnie's with someone that was working there because they tried to tell me she tried to she tried to tell me my fucking ID was fake and I was like bitch I've never had a fake ID in my entire life why do you think it's fake and she was refusing to sell me liquor it was like Friday night okay I'm just laughing because it's like this happened last week that's how that's the energy you're bringing to this story Oh, Honestly, my girl never lets go, okay? She yeah. can hold a grudge. They, they put my fucking picture at the front door and said, if you see this person, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you would have got a photo of that. I swear to God. The store is no longer there, or I would be determined to go back in there and be like, is my picture still here? But it was like, I was up there with like maybe 10 other people. So Damn, I felt really like. Her off. It was that like that is so funny. <laughs> it was like the FBI wanted list or some shit. Oh my God. If there's anybody in my life who I wish I could just follow around in their like. 20, 21 years, 19, 20, 21, it would be you, Nicole, because the stories that I hear from you are just so funny every time. And I'm like, I just, I can picture you doing it, but I can't at the same time. You yeah, know? I, was a, I was a different person back then. Yeah. It was a different my time. Town, my town used to like pop, like put copies of people's bad checks up so everyone can read them at the register. Oh, oh. I remember seeing so like if those. You, if, Checks aren't really a thing anymore, but if you wrote right. a bad check, yep. if it bounced, they would just post it. Like you could just walk up to the wall of bad checks and be like, oh, and I lived in a town of a thousand people. So it was like, <laughs> you're like, oh, Aunt Susie, know. she's writing these, yeah. these bad what checks. What if you this- like accidentally wrote a bad check? Like it was an accident. Yeah, I don't know. Did that happen mm-hmm. back then? I mean, they didn't expect like- you to make accidents. If you're not balancing your checkbook, you're not a good human. Okay. I guess so. Literally, account- no one balances their checkbook anymore. No. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> My mom See, still does. But this is. Uh, this went off the rails. This went off plans. Sorry, but like, guys. I have customers yell at me because they were like, "Why did you even let that debit card transaction go through?" And I was like, "What you don't understand is that I can't control that, and <laughs> like a gas station can pre-authorize your card for one dollar. It just takes one dollar out of your current balance. But when that transaction posts to your account, it's thirty dollars for gas. Yeah. And mm-hmm. if you only had twenty five dollars, I don't know how much they're charging you for gas. Like I can't mm. you gotta you gotta keep track of that. Listen, mm-hmm. I appreciated that in my early twenties when I was living check to check and I was like Listen, I need to get to work today. I only have five bucks in my bank, but if I run my card 
it'll say it'll let me do it because it'll if I put it through his credit and then I could get it in there tomorrow morning and there's no overdraft fee. <laughs> I yeah. I I milked the system in my early twenties. Is that 20s. a thing? I didn't know about that. Yeah. yeah well, I you mean, can... it's less and less so now. They call, used to call it floating. Mm. Um, so like I'm a flo- floating a check a... because because before we used to have to take the check and mail it to the Federal Reserve Bank. Oh mm. wow! And now everything's electronic. Yeah, I was. I guess Got I was. A, I was a floater. Wow! I didn't, have, didn't have a choice. Well, well, how about that? My my bank account just uh, has like an overflow thing where if one account goes down and like there would have been an overdraft, it just takes it out of a different account within yeah. my account. You know? I'm yeah. Like, Thank oh, God. She's got money. She's, she's, I don't have a she's second got account that can float over. Overdraft okay? protection. <laughs> Who is no, she? Let's, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always. I get I'm, it. Here's how I am with money. Not that we even care, but if there's money in my checking account, I'm gonna spend it. So I keep <laughs> it low. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yep. I put my money in a different account that's not connected to an a card. Um, mm-hmm. To an a card. To a card. To a card. That's smart. That's smart. That's so smart. But mm-hmm. I do unfortunately sometimes that does happen where I'm like, oh shoot. Mm-hmm. I didn't have enough money for that in that account. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Hey, it works for anyway. me. If you're a spender, that's how I've been able to save money. If you're a spender. Yeah. 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 That's actually a good idea. Okay. Um, let's wrap it up and talk about maybe a plant that we're kind of just excited about right now. Something Ooh, that's I have one. Like tickling our fancy, mm. whether it's in your collection or not. I have one that's tickling my fancy. Oh. Uh, Hoya Linearis. Brie gave me. <gasps> A full ass Hoya linearis. It's mm. probably the length of my, like four of my plant shelves. I'll have to send you a picture. Huh? I don't know if I, I don't know if I posted it. It's a curtain. It's gorgeous. She Dang. had two of them. Mm. Yeah, she had one in her basement because she has this cute little greenhouse uh, thingy, like grow tent in her basement. And she had one in there. And I was like, oh, she's like, if you want anything, the scissors are there. And I was like, can I have a couple cuttings off of this Hoya Linearis? And she's like, I'm just going to give you the whole plant. And I looked at her like I shit myself. And she was Mm -hmm. like, I have another one upstairs and (laughs) I'm moving and please just take it. And I was like, okay. (laughs) It's so beautiful. And it's growing new leaves. I look at it multiple times a day. It's they're so cute. They're yeah. adorable. I freaking does love it have flat mite? So pretty. What'd you say, Adam? I said, does it have flat mite? No, it does it looks very healthy. No. Okay, good. There's no nubbins. Well, don't let your other ones infest it. No, it's not even on my Hoya <laughs> shelf. It's like off to the side. Listen to me being like, don't fuck it up, Nicole. <laughs> Because I will. Well, uh, mm. That's cute. Um, I've never had a linearis bloom, but I do have a new, I have a linearis now that's just like two strands. It's growing well. Mm-hmm. And I, I decided to try it again say, after flat mite. Because mm-hmm. um, I think that's probably why it died. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a pretty Hoya. It's a it very is. unique Hoya. Yeah. Becca, do you so still have pretty. one? Yeah, I you do. Still have- My original one, I like, it was trying to die on me and I propagated it and saved yeah. it. It's much smaller now, but it's still it's still here. Yay. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, Nicole so what's some up? cuttings off that one? I did. I don't know. They perished. <laughs> they perished. <laughs> they perished. Better luck this time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's me. what she said. She was just like, <laughs> why take cuttings when you can have a fully established plant? And I thought about that and I was like, yeah, you're probably um, right. <laughs> sorry, Brie. I don't have fully established plant to give. <laughs> <laughs> one up in me I'm sorry <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just kidding um, okay for me I was walking around Menards yesterday or three days ago four days ago I was getting some sandpaper and I look to my left and imagine my surprise I'm walking along quickly Make it, I'm making making my way downtown exactly. walking fast Faces pass and, and I'm homebound. Okay, so I look to my left and a velvety leaf, heart shaped velvety leaf, catches my eye. And I said, At Menards? What's this? So I walk over. <laughs> it's a very, very full and beautiful philodendron gloriosum. I was going to say gloriosum? Oh. Uh huh. For what? how much? Take a guess. How much do you think I paid for this? 
how many leaves? How many leaves? Like 20. Like, okay, not 20. There's there's easily like 15, 10 to 15 leaves on this okay, plant. Okay, I'm going to take back my offer. I'm going to take back. 39.95. 39.98. I'm going to go 44.98. It was 19.99. Yeah. Oh, okay. my God. Mm-hmm. Both Nicole and Adam's faces are aghast. Yes. I was shocked. Whoa. So, of course I bought you it. got it. I got it. Yeah. I, you my chloriosum, it's like weird. It's it's growing all funky. Ooh, mm. we're going to have to go to Menards. That, add, that to to Menards. <laughs> <laughs> add that to the list. Add that to the itinerary. I do miss, miss save big money at Menards. Menards. Oh my gosh. The amount of time that Daniel and I have spent in a Menards, it like, it'll play through like seven <laughs> times and we're just like, save big money. <laughs> When I was I did younger, I pretended money. I was a I was a pirate, and I'd be like, "Ouch, Menards!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Menards, <laughs> Menards. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I'm sure they, the marketing team would love that. Oh my god! Gosh. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's a plant I'm excited about. I gotta get it repotted. It's currently sitting in the bag still. I covered it with the bag because it was cold, but I was like, I mm-hmm. got. I'm not leaving without you. So I just added that's it to the awesome. list. I'm going to Menards. Fuck that. Normally their plants look horrible though, so I'm really surprised. It must have been new. Yeah, they must have just yeah. got a shipment. But also, didn't know they started selling Gloriosum at Menards. Was it a was it Costa Farms? I don't know. I'll look mm. at what the brand, what the grower is. They, they usually do proven winners. I've seen them have houseplants before and they're usually proven winners, but it didn't oh, look wow. like proven winners. I'll have to look. Okay. Um, yeah. That's amazing. What a win. What mm-hmm. a win. Big time. Uh, Pull out the W. <laughs> well, I don't... The one that I'm excited about, and I think that maybe I'll get it in my collection this year... Um, is a variegated Hoya Crassia Pediolata. Sure. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to uh, spell that, sir. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Variegated. Gonna... Hoya Crassia Pediolata. Crassia Pediolata. Oh, Crassia here we go. Pediolata. Ooh. Um, that's pretty. Anyway, oh, that's very pretty. There was a point... But this is very expensive or it was selling for like yeah very it's a very like a expensive like grand. a node was like a thousand oh no that yeah so it's still expensive but in my mind i was like why can't i go in with 10 people we can split it up and i'll grow it snip snip and then when it gets big enough i'll just chop and send everyone their nodes i'm down for that mm. Gather up the folks. It's so pretty. So hopefully this year it comes into my... Because I really do like it. But if we're talking about a plant that's like in our collection now, I have a Clemenciorum that I got from Unsolicited Plant Talks that I am loving and it's growing so well. Mm -hmm. But the flowers of that Hoya... Do they smell bad? They smell like exactly like semen. (gasps) No. It was like... No. It was... It was insane because the when we went to visit, theirs was flowering, and one of the <laughs> workers that I know pretty well was like, and Lydia and Jesse were like, "Smell this," and I went to smell it, and they're like, "What does it smell like?" And I was like, "I'm not going to say the word, but semen," and they were like, "I know," and they were all just like, bleh, bleh, and I'm I didn't mind it. Ah! <laughs> but, <laughs> You're like wafting it, like me, pulling the air in. Me and Becker are trying to keep down our dinner, and he's like, "I mean, it was all right." <laughs> Yeah. That's not the reason I love the plant, though. It's just a very beautiful Hoya. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of semen and Hoya, (laughs) okay, Adam posted a video on his stories. (laughs) And, like, I look, I I swear, I looked at it like four times and I was like, am I being gross? Like, I was like, what? Wait. What's going on here? Was this. Are you talking about the compacta video? Yes. Yeah. And in so my Becca mind, sends I was me a like, message. oh, shoot, maybe this wasn't meant for everybody. Maybe this is supposed to be like a close friend's private story <laughs> thing. And like, you thought, you thought you were getting the insider scoop. <laughs> yeah, because I know I'm not on the, the, the sexy close friends list. So I was like, Becca's- did this accidentally... <laughs> Like I, it's, it's been yeah. She messaged and she goes, um, was this angle intentional? <laughs> <laughs> He's 
okay I he's holding it. he's holding a compact <laughs> rope like he's holding a freaking huge ass peepee like wiggling it around and i was like um <laughs> but you did that because of the whole drake thing right yeah, yeah, the Drake video, which I understand you guys probably didn't see yeah, and or no. hear about, but <laughs> that's Which, thanks for letting me know that happened. Um, yeah. Do you guys remember I, when that happened to that guy from Grey's Anatomy? Who was no. also... Oh, because he, he was in Broadway? Yeah, I did look up that photo, but I'm not going to look up the Drake <laughs> thing. I don't want to know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to know either. Anyway, shocking. That you got me. So I I seriously went back to it. I'm like, should I say something? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did he mean to post this? Like, <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, All right, happy season eight. Yeah, I cannot believe that we're in season eight. What a wild ride. We took a little bit of a longer break this time, and I feel like it was much needed for everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did miss you guys though tremendously yes we did so it feels good so, to be back yeah show us some love make sure you follow us on instagram at pot it together i know we're not hugely active over there but things happen we're gonna you know, be we can only do so much mm-hmm. we'll be over we'll be back soon um but yeah follow us at pot it together or you can follow us individually individually my instagram is at not dude becca is at de la plants nicole is at my clean leaves and yeah, is that all we say at the end? Did yeah. you say the potted together Instagram? I did. Oh, yeah. okay. Then that's it. That's the script. That's it. Yeah, if you want right. if you wanted to get more of us weekly, we do have a BYC tier on Patreon that you can join and it's kind of like a little extra snippet of um shenanigans. Yes, yeah. BYC it stands, stands for, for Brave Yet Car- Oh, Adam, we're on a, the same nope. wavelength. Yeah, you got it. It stands for Brave Yet Controversial. So all of our Brave Yet Controversial takes are over there. Yep. Yes. Even though this episode got a little brave. It did. Yeah. We talked about pissing our pants. Yeah. Stealing things. Oh, Adam (laughs) called me out. Oh, you. You peed your pants. That's right. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Sorry. I peed my pants. Feeling a little bit victimized. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. 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 BetMGM has an unreal deal for sports fans in Iowa. Turn $5 into $150 instantly when you place your first wager at BetMGM. Simply download the BetMGM app and sign up using code Hawkeye150. Then place a $5 wager on any sport. You'll receive $150 in bonus bets, regardless of your wager's outcome. And if you think the fun stops there, the king of sportsbooks has plenty of surprises in store. Check out daily promotions, same game parlays, live bets, and so much more. No matter your team or your sport, BetMGM is for you. Download the app in Iowa today and get $150 in bonus bets instantly from your first wager only at BetMGM. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly. See BetMGM.com for terms. 21 plus only. Iowa only. New customer offer. Subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Please gamble responsibly. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. 